the Goat Tapas and Bar in Jack's Beach with Kaylin. She's the front of the house manager and event coordinator. They've got so much going on and I cannot wait to try some of your delicious food. But before we get into that, First of all, thank you for having me. Of course, thank you for being here. Give everyone an overview of your menu. What's the inspiration behind it? So, most of our inspiration comes from our team's travel. So we're all very well traveled. Oh, that's Very cool. well cultured, so to say. My owner himself is plucked from Ireland. His wife is Brazilian. We have a lot of culture in the back of the house. So we all continue to kind of inspire each other from our travels, something that is different that we've had from somewhere we've been. That is so cool. And, and tapas, once again, is uh, small dishes, right? Culturally small plates, more so in the community sense of sharing. Okay. That's what we really want to bring here to Jack's Beach is being a part of this community and making it a place where locals or people traveling and stopping in can come together mm -hmm. and kind of feel out our community, be yeah. a part of the community. Definitely. And what I love about that style of food too is I'm like, give me this, give me this, give me this. Oh, you can try sharing so is caring. Yes. It's the best way to do it. You can try so many different things. And you guys not only have the restaurant here that you can come into, which is beautiful by the way, you cater as well we cater we in-house cater we offer catering outside of our restaurant as okay. well so if you're having a little shindig we'd be happy to cater oh that's um, wonderful mostly inside it's a party here so if you guys are ready <laughs> yeah. to host inside it's, it's really fun big, here at the restaurant yeah it's a big restaurant i bet you could fit a lot of people here and it's easy access too which is really nice and speaking of easy access You've got some great parking, we right? Do. Tell us about that. Yes, it's almost like a local secret, but it shouldn't be. We do have rooftop parking. That's cool. Available for everybody, it is free. It's just this little hidden cut um, right in between our buildings. Let's talk about some specials, maybe some happy hour, some brunch options. Yes, okay, so happy hour. We offer it Tuesday through Friday, so we open until 6.30. Okay. Uh, Saturday is the only day because Saturday we're happy anyways all day long. Sunday we do offer our brunch, Ooh. and then happy hour until five o'clock. So brunch runs from opening until about two o'clock. And happy hours every day, Tuesday through Friday and Sunday as well. All right, I'm here with Chef Meg Kirkland. This food looks amazing. So talk me through, let's start with this one and as I take a bite. So that is our, our um, summer salad. How do I eat this? <laughs> I just go straight in, just from the top. All right. Oh, I see. Oh, the salad's like in the, okay, yes, so tell me what ring, we're yes. seeing here. So it's just arugula and mint mm. with a uh, blueberry vinaigrette, which is some fresh berries and a cucumber ring and then a little bit of feta. That's amazing. And then what are these? Just beets, just for a little crunch. Wait, that's a beet? It's just shaved beet, yes. What? I thought beets were red. Is this a different type? Yes, there's three types of beets, uh, gold and rainbow and red. I had no idea. That is so refreshing and delicious. Okay. Now I see some meat here. We're getting into the meat. What is this? This is our uh, charred quail. Quail? Yes. I've never had quail before. It's really good. All right, so is there a way of, should I eat it with my hands or? Yeah, All right, it's probably the best way. So how do you prepare this? So we char it hard on the grill with a, just a little bit of um, herba paste on top. Mm. And then we finish it with honey. Oh my God. And just some orange. It's one of my favorite things on the menu. Apparently I love quail. Mm -hmm. We're getting into some gnocchi now? Gnocchi, yes. All right, a little bit uh, thicker here. This is our um, sweet potato gnocchi. Wait, I've never had a sweet potato one. Yes. So gnocchi typically is There's just a potato. regular potato? Yes. Mmm. And there's oh a my God. tomato nice. cream sauce with a duck confit. Okay, tell me a little bit about this. So this is our spring s'more. Oh it is um, house-made brownies with a house-made marshmallow on top that we just brulee real quick with a strawberry compote and house-made uh, chocolate sauce. Holy it's really good. Cow. Oh my gosh, you guys. I love s'mores just in general. And when they brought this out, I was like, wait a second, is that a marshmallow? And they're like, yes, yeah, homemade. The brownie is too. Yeah, this one's good. That is fabulous. And the desserts do change seasonally? Yes, they do. Now, does your menu sometimes change seasonally, like other items? Um, yes, for the most part, yes. That's really cool. That's a, so I like that too sometimes because it keeps it kind of fresh and you don't yeah, know yeah. what you're going to get. Do you have your mainstays though, your staples that are always going to be on the menu? Yes, the quail, okay. the beets, and labna, um, they'll pretty much always be on, and the short rib as well. You guys, every single thing I have tried right now is absolutely amazing. I mean, this is like top notch. This is gourmet. This is really good. Too. Thank you so much for Thank having you. me Thank today. You. I'm just gonna keep eating. I don't even know which one I want to go with next because literally it just it's like it just kept getting better and better. But dessert always <laughs> has my heart. Oh, and if you'd like to see another segment like this again for some local eats and treats at the first place meals plus.